here's a group of artifacts that I've acquired over the years. Uh, I found this one back many years ago. It's a little small stone discoidal. Uh, it's really not, I don't think it was ever finished. This is a Tennessee River Point. It was found by a mussel diver, a big lerma. Still got some of the stuff on it that grows down in the bottom of the river. It's a big Benton. Uh, may even, I'm not sure, it could be an Elk River. It's got the, what they call the parallel oblique flaking. I don't know if you can see the flaking on this thing or not. It's hard to see it because of the material it's made out of. It's a big old beautiful point though. This is a little gorget uh, from Franklin County, Alabama. I think it came from Cedar Creek Lake. It's got a crack on it. I, I, it, I don't like handling it. It looks like it'd break half in two if you was to drop it. It's got a lot of wear in that hole. And this is a pipe off of the Tennessee River. made out of, uh, I think they call it pipe stone, red pipe stone. And this piece here, let me zoom out a little. This is made out of steatite. Oh. Uh, I'm not sure about it. I've had a lot of people look at it. Some people say they think it's authentic. Other people say that it wasn't authentic. All of them are supposed to know what they're talking about. Uh, the guy that I got it from claims he found it on the Tennessee River. Uh, don't know. I know. It's a pretty interesting piece. I like it. It's thick and heavy. Most of your steatite bows bowls have kind of a rough finish, but this one is polished. As you can see on the bottom that it was made by pecking. They peck it out and then they polished it. Okay, let's go to something different.